I'm not that out of shape, Garmin. Don't be training for Slackers Volume 3. It's actually gonna happen. We're actually we're gonna, training. We're actually gonna train. Right. <laughs> let's see how this feels. We, earlier we said let's let's do a 10k. We'll, we'll see if we get that far. Time will tell. Yes. So in this edition of Dopey Training for Slackers, we're gonna talk about training for wine and dine if you're doing dopey. So how do you train for wine and dine when you're doing dopey? Run a little, eat a lot, sleep less. That's true. You pretty much don't have to do anything. Because <laughs> if you're doing dopey and wine and dine, you should be able to roll out of bed and do the two course challenge. Right? Correct. And it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I'm 0.07 miles in. I told you. The moment we started running. Well, 45 day drought here in Texas. We're okay with it. Ends the day I put my running shoes on. <laughs> no, it was a nice rain. It was hard to concentrate. I have large windows in my office. And then it clears up. Then it rains. I mean, it's hard for Jerry to concentrate anyway. I know. So this is what it feels like to run, huh? <laughs> I've forgotten how to do it. I've forgotten. Why do we do this? I don't know. I don't like it very much right now. I only have like... You registered for 10 races. And 11. Yeah, that's true. Is it fun? No, I not guess. really. <laughs> I just like going to Disney World. So, the most important thing about wine and dine is the dining. Not, sir, not necessarily the running. Uh, let's go to my correspondent in Epcot. One way to train for wine and dine is to prepare for food and wine festival and eating on weird surfaces, like this little ledge in Norway. In the you have to eat on the ground. I've had to cut. I've had to cut filet mignon on the ground, literally, and also on trash cans. And also, if you're not getting school bread when you go by Norway, you're doing it wrong. And also, the after party is what we all go there for. First of all, Wine and Dine is the best race weekend. Don't at me if it is not the best race weekend. Or you may see, say, hey, Jar Ox and Spoon, I don't see any princess recaps. Well, if you think Princess is a better one, tell me. And I'll register and go see for myself. What's the best race weekend? Wine and dine. Wine and dine. I haven't been to enough snow. <laughs> but wine and dine has been my favorite. Wine and dine. Food. And the after party. Most important thing about the after party, get a nap. Yes. Get a nap in. And take that ibuprofen. Yes. If you ride Mission Space. <laughs> don't ride Mission Space. <laughs> Just don't do it. Go get up early. You've expended all your energy. Even if you do take a nap, you're probably not well nourished or hydrated. It's just the cat you love. And I know 2017, all year we talked up, oh, the party's gonna be awesome. All night. And then like, we stay there an hour and then we're done. We're all like deuces. We really struggled for the second half of that hour too. Yeah. Yes. 2018 was a better story. We had better rest. But, as my correspondent said, one way to prepare for wine and dine is to practice standing or walking in the rain. Because we know, last year's after party, it was raining. So, if you can practice this, you'll be good. So, anything to improve upon the party for this year? No rain would be good. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to find the merch this year. Yes, there's, don't, don't we get like a, there's some really cool stuff this year. Yeah, a glass, maybe some pins. I want all of it. Yeah. There's a pin that's like that big. It needs its own lanyard. <laughs> Before I go any further, like I said in the other things, don't listen to us. But you can if you want to. But don't say I didn't say don't listen to us. Yes, disclaimer. Yes, but uh, there, there's something that we all partake of that helps. Daily beet juice. Not kind of like the mixed kind that just has a little bit in it with other stuff. I mean pure 100% beet juice. It works. From Shroot Farms? Yes. Yes. I like Beata brand personally, but it can be harder to find. I get mine from Walmart. Pick up grocery. And it's 
a little squatty bottle. Straight up beet juice. Straight up beet juice. Currently, I have the beet, apple, and ginger Tastes one. Good. Tastes good. That's the only one they had. Yes. It doesn't turn your pee red. Correct. Correct. If your output is red, it works. <laughs> yes. So how much do you take? I do four ounce shot every morning, uh -huh. and then I took a four ounce shot before this run. So how, uh, what, what, what improvements does it make? It seems to have better stamina. Uh -huh. It's supposed to increase your red blood cell ah. flow, because et cetera. Probably. Um, mostly think it's all in my head. How's the taste? It's an acquired taste. I like it now. Hey, it's supposed to also lower your glucose. My annual wellness screening, my glucose was 11, which is point, are they points? I think they're no. points. 11 points lower than last year. That's after a beet juice regimen. But maybe we should consult a real physician. Which we're not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we just work with them. <laughs> And that's the most education you'll see on this channel. So you have any uh, goals for the marathon? Marathon? Oh, finish. Good. Uh, not be hurting the entire time. Uh-huh. Uh, I think I can enjoy it a little more this year. Yeah? Last year being the first one, never running that far. Not really knowing to expect was pretty rough. So I'm gonna have more fun this time. Good. It's been raining most of the time, so gratefully. We've uh, we've gone couch to 10K and we're almost there. No, it's not couch to 10K, it's Disney to 10K. Yeah. It's Disney detoxing. Although I did lose a pound. Ten days at Disney with no running. Well, yeah, I ran four running. times. True. I and sweated twice. it all out. So, last stretch with the hill. Let's do it. Just finished the 10K. Well under Disney 10K pace. My Garmin just said it's gonna take me three days to recover. I'm not that out of shape, Garmin. We can do it, Jake Crow is still over there. The overachiever. But I finished my goal. Kind of surprisingly because I said, we're gonna go 10K. And then I was like, oh, it could turn into five, four, two, especially looking at the sky, the big Texas sky. It rained a lot. So uh, we're, we're uh, grateful that we made it. A 6.2 magical miles, not as magical. It is at my alma mater. So 10K, how, how's it feel? First uh, time running six miles and couple months yeah. oh, better than expected yeah that's that's below Good. Disney 10k pace yeah. which okay. yeah I saw the pace and I'm like oh I thought we did worse than that it wasn't bad we did a lot of walking. yeah we yeah we did we walked a lot to film yeah yes, that, that's film. the only yes. that's yes. the only reason we walked yes, yes. <laughs> there we go. what are you looking forward to the most uh, for, for the eating at the food and wine festival it sounds weird and we already mentioned it but the kombucha yes. at uh, the same booth that has the fake meat hamburgers. Yes, the flavors from fire. Yes, area, looking forward to that. It's around that area. Yeah, um, looking forward to that. And I usually always enjoy everything in Japan. Yes. Arigato. <laughs> Why don't you register? No, everything's sold out. Oh, everything's sold out. I do like the Japan. Anything Asian, I'm gonna get. Yes. China, Japan, Thailand, sake. Pineapple sake Pineapple the first sake. year. Yes, that's good. The uh, lamb chop from Australia, New Zealand. Oh, that that's one, good. That good. That's really good. Brazil's cheese bread. Cheese yes. bread. Cheese bread. But I also have a really good recipe if you can't make it here. Maybe we'll be making that. Oh, there's the, the Florida Fresh one from Flower Garden. They had a really good like strawberry cucumber yes. smoothie. That was really good. Orangeford Sipper Cup. Yes, that, that got us a lot of stranger talk. We did, it uh, was a popular item to yes. be carrying around the expo. Yes, and uh, we get some quote free stuff too, right? Pass holder quote stuff? Quote unquote free stuff, yes. We get a it's cutting board. Cost you $200 this year. Yes, plus our $1,100 pass, the annual pass holder. I need to renew my next week. <laughs> I have to pay for private school. <laughs> <laughs>
So a lot of things to look forward to. There's yes. a wine and dine is the best. The best. It is the best. Tell your friends. It's yeah. the best. It is the best. It really is the best. It's the best. It's the best. It's, it's my favorite, guys. It's my favorite. Minus the weekends with the drinking around the world bro group. Good call. And like yeah. the, the squad. Like Great Jack, yeah. call. Uh, yeah. Jess D nailing the, the it squad. on the head. Yeah. They, handle that. they always have the matching t-shirts. The matching shirts. The matching tanks. Yes. The tanks that are like inappropriate for Disney. Yes. If there are small children around still. Also, don't get in fist fights at Disney. We've seen it before. So there you have it. Dopey Training for Slackers Volume 3, even though we really didn't talk about dopey training, but we talked about things that are pertaining to training. And we didn't slack. And we didn't slack. We actually ran a 10K faster than Disney Pace. At my Disney Pace, you, yeah, you're, yeah, you got your own standards. It was, it was close. Yeah, we PR'd in some fun. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if, if you have any suggestions, you know, keep them to yourself. I don't want to hear them. <laughs> So and, and don't listen to us and if you see Disclaimer. us yeah see us in the park you know give us a high five and say cool man like subscribe tell your mother about this